diversity means all the things. It's absolutely how you identify, but it's also having people with different skill sets and experiences and backgrounds and education and leadership styles. Now, belonging is new for Indeed, and that is the concept that everyone wants to be a part of a community. Maybe that community doesn't exist on their team or in their office where they work, and so they want that space to connect with people that identify in the same way that they do. Before I worked in Indeed, I worked at a small company that was about 80% men. And I was told there that I was never gonna be a leader because I wasn't aggressive enough. It's taken me many years to unpack that and realize that aggressive is a dog whistle term, that it's something that is very frequently gendered. I'd have to say being stereotyped into only three categories. You're either the angry black woman, the strong black woman, or the Jezebel. I tend to be labeled as the strong black woman, so being vulnerable is something that I'm not allowed to be externally, but it is a part of who I am. Bullying has been a big part of my life, whether it was coming out, whether it was my accent. When I moved from London to Scottsdale, I lost my accent pretty fast because kids didn't like that I sounded funny. When I you know, was going through elementary school, middle school, high school, I had a lot of issues with attention and anxiety, and it took me until being an adult to really have the language to communicate what that experience felt like, to be anxious, to have depression, to deal with any of these mental illnesses that we all either have or have temporarily. You can tell from how I look I'm different in, in Dublin. I, I'm not like everybody else. There were loads of occasions that I was like, I am an outsider, I'm not included in this. Just before moving to New York City and working for Indeed, I lived in a very small town in a rural part of Florida. It was a great company, but the environment was not very conducive to people of color or queer individuals. Having moved from Atlanta to this small town, uh, it was awkward for me to be able to, to have to walk through the space or navigate a world where I was standing out again. So coming to Indeed, all of that's been turned upside down. Obviously, I'm the co-chair for iPride here in the Americas region. For me, Indeed is the first workplace that I've actually been out. It's the first workplace where I felt safe enough for me to be out. So beforehand, I didn't really feel included. I didn't feel like my voice was heard. Coming to Indeed was one of the best decisions I've ever made because I was able to see myself differently and see myself as a leader and find myself in a position where I can help other people do the same. It's that support and the collaboration and knowing that everyone is in it for equality and to promote diversity and to make sure that there is a strong community. I myself have a physical disability and I have been extremely accommodated by Indeed. And I don't know if people really realize that when you come to work for Indeed, it's not even an issue. Your disability is not an issue when it comes to your work. As a disabled veteran, I have a service dog and that means that my dog uh, goes everywhere I go, which includes work. And I work with the HR team at Indeed to provide me the ability to actually take her into work. My previous director had such an age diverse team compared to the other directors within that market. By him saying he was actively trying not to be biased was actually being shown in practice by the people that he was hiring. When you're hiring somebody who might be older than you or in a different generation, it's not charity. You're bringing strength and resiliency to the organization. My biggest accomplishment in Latinx would be all the people that I've helped lift into different roles and just helped them advance their careers and just watching them thrive. And I think that's probably, honestly, like I cry talking about it, but that is honestly one of the most amazing things that IRGs do is we lift people up that need to be lifted and show them that it's possible. For me, one of the biggest things that I'm really, 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 really happy about would be National Coming Out Day. Every year, I see more and more people uh, joining the parade. So this year, we have 50% more people than last year. So every, every Pride Month is my biggest achievement. If I could give every Indian one thing to focus on or to know, it is that this work is vast. Every single Indian has the power to impact the company and impact the world.